Hey guys, so today we're doing a part two to making my own custom acrylics using chalk. But today we're coming back better than last time. I've taken a lot of your feedback and I'm going to work that into today's video. So as you can see, I have a whole new set of jars. I got some more regular acrylic, both white and clear. And I have all of my previously made custom acrylics here to swatch for you guys. Since a lot of you were disappointed that I did not use them, I got these swatching sticks so I can show you guys how they would look as a nail. Since I cannot do every single color, especially since I got a whole new set today. So let's just get right on into it. Alright, so I have a fresh jar here. So some of you guys' feedback said to use white acrylic as a base instead of clear. So that's what we're going to try today. So I have my chalk here. I asked you guys on Instagram what colors you wanted to see and I think the most requested color was lilac. So let's start with that. All right, so I think we're going to just do this one or I don't know if we should maybe do this one because this one seems really, really, really light. So let's start with this one and if it's too light, we'll add some of this. And to do this once again, I'm going to be using my e-file with this sanding bit. Okay, so now we're going to take this white acrylic and let's see how this looks in comparison to using the clear. Cause a lot of you were saying it wasn't, you know, looking exactly how I thought because of the clear and I totally agree. I hope that this white makes it a lot more opaque. So I'm just going to add, I don't know, let's say that much and let's stir it up. Make sure to get all the little corners you can see right there. And then to really make sure it's all fine, you do need to once again drill in the powder to make sure that it all blends together. So now let's test our first swatch. I'm gonna get my monomer. I'm just using the same Model 1's liquid monomer. That way we can sort of stick with, you know, the whole system. Let's test and see. Is this more what you guys were thinking? I think it was. This one is so much better than some of the other colors I was doing for sure. This one looks like a solid lilac instead of sort of, you know, weirdly transparent, but not. So I do really like how that looks. Let's keep this lavender as is. So if you get these jars, make sure you're putting this on. If you put this on before you put the top on, it does not leak, I guess. But if you don't, it does. So now in addition to just that swatch, because that's just testing to see if we even like it, now I'm going to swatch it on this little swatch stick so we can have a nice representation of what it would look like as a nail. And I'm going to do this for every single one. And I'm going to go back and do it for every single one in my previous video as well. So something with this chalk acrylic combo is it does dry rather quickly. I've figured out some of them do more or less. I guess it probably depends how much chalk you put in, but just do keep in mind that the more chalk you put in, the quicker that it does dry. And we're back with my label maker. And here we go. So first new one done. And here is how it looks. I hope what you guys said was true about being able to watch me do this all day because I love making these. It is so fun. So I'm actually not sure if this will work, but some of you were sending me this chalk and it's glitter sidewalk chalk. So I figured, you know, why not? Let's just try it and we'll just see how it works in this. I don't know if the like type of chalk is that much different, but let's find out. All right, so here's the chalk. I can barely tell there's any glitter in it. What color shall we do? Let's do, I really like this blue right here. Let's do this blue and let's just hope it works like the other ones, I guess. Okay, I can actually see some of the glitters in there. Can you guys see? All right, you can definitely see the little glitters in there. So let's add the white. I'm gonna add a little bit more than I did for the lavender because I feel like the lavender was a little bit too dry. So I need to be adding a little bit more acrylic to maybe make it a little more manageable. So I'm gonna do that and I'm actually gonna add a tiny bit of clear. I don't think that it's gonna make much difference but it's just going to make the white last a little, little bit longer. Definitely got some chunks in there. So I'll have to really do it up with the nail drill. And 
and time to test. That one seems like it's working much better. So here it is. I guess we can see how good it's gonna dry. This one obviously has some chunks in it. I like blended it for a couple minutes, so I don't know how much more blending I could actually do to make there not be any more chunks. Let's do something manageable like these little stars here. I'm actually gonna use one of these little swatch sticks to just get a couple in there. I don't wanna do a ton. Like the glitter I've realized goes a long way. Like you don't need a ton of it in there like I was doing for the last ones. Okay, yeah, so for sure, if you're having issues with it being too dry or drying too quickly on you, it is totally that you have not enough acrylic in comparison to chalk. Did I not pick up in a single star? Did I just? Okay, well, I'll find a middle ground somewhere. Okay, I think that these chunks are just going to be there unless they dissolve sort of like this one. You can see this tiny little speck right here. Didn't, but the rest of it did. Time for a swatch stick. I think we got some stars in this. Ah, did that a hair from the brush? Okay. Okay, so this one looks honestly a little disappointing. I did pick up some of the star glitter, but it's not showing, I think partially because there's a lot of the white and the white is opaque. So I think we need to find like a little bit of a better middle ground between the clear and the white. Okay, so next I wanna do just a really deep blue. I think something like this and some of this. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a lot of clear and just a scoop or two of the white. So maybe we can find a good mix between what we need to do. This is a lot of experimenting, but it's so fun. I like don't mind at all. Testing time. All right, here she is. I really tried to blend this up really good. Ooh, and it's reacting really, really well. Let's see. Okay, so this is a little bit more of a like more muted blue than I thought, but I actually kind of like it. This one I think absolutely needs glitter, no questions. I have this glitter right here. It's like this nice purple iridescent. I think this would look amazing in it. Don't you guys think? I think it does. <laughs> I'm just gonna use like my nail as a little scoop. Does that work? Yep. There we go. Mix this up and then let's see how it looks with the glitter. Again, working super, super well. Okay, so I think you definitely need a good amount of acrylic for sure. These other ones I don't think had enough. And this one does, I mixed this one up on actually the highest speed my drill would go, but it creates a lot of like really, really fine dust. So if you're gonna do that, wear a mask. You know, I know it sucks to be doing it inside and outside, but just do it. <laughs> so here is our color. Let's put it on a swatch stick. Yes, this one works so much better. Okay, so we are improving here. And here is this color. You can't really see it too, too much, the glitter, but maybe it might look different if you're actually like putting it on your nail and not like against this, but we shall see. You can almost see more of like what it would look like on the back here instead of on the front. So these neon chalks are calling me back. Let's make, ooh, I don't know. Let's make like a really, really, really bright orange one, I think, or yellow. Did we make a yellow last time? I don't think we did. Okay, never mind. scratch that. We're gonna do yellow. I think I added yellow to stuff last time, but I don't think I just made a pure yellow. This one was definitely chunking up on me. <laughs> For this one, I just wanna add clear because I think the white will mute it a bit and I do not want that. I want it like a bright, bright, bright yellow. One, two, three, four. I don't know why I'm counting as if like I have a set amount I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I'm just winging it to be honest. It's like I do everything else in my life. How did I do that? When did this just happen? All 
All right, let's see. Good, this one's working good as well. Wow, this one's so bright. Ooh, it's so pretty. Do I dare ruin it with some glitter? Just kidding, that's a trick question. I will absolutely put glitter in. I would love some yellow glitter in this, but I don't actually think I own any yellow glitter. What's with that? You know what I do have though? I have these little flakies and they are iridescent. So they switch between like really neon purple and yellow. So they think that would be perfect to put in this. Once again, use my nail as a scoop. So if I'm being honest with you guys, this is actually my full second time filming a part two to this video. I did not like the other one I did. I made a couple other shades and it just, it was not it. So I always wanna do better for you guys. So I'm redoing all of it and it's coming out so much better. I'm so happy. Give this a nice good stir. Okay. Hmm. Actually, you can sort of see it. I think this is one where you'd really have to like reflect with the light. Let's see if we can get it to do the thing. Yeah, you guys can absolutely see what I mean by like that like neon purple. Isn't that so cool? Love this one. All right, let's swatch this now. I almost don't think these swatch sticks are like a good representation of how it looks because they don't seem to really like get the glitter or anything like that. But like, if you look it over the other side, it's totally there. Like, let's show this one, like, woo. But then like, boo. This one I think has a good running for which one I might use to do on my actual nails. Of course, I'm going to actually do my nails with one of these or some of these at the end. You guys know me, I can't just like do these and peace out. Okay, so I want to move back to these chalks. I wanna try this one, I think, or maybe a mix of these. I don't know, I don't feel like we gave it a super fair shot with the blue. With this one again, I'm gonna do the clear. I don't know, I just think I am absolutely preferring the clear most of the time. I think to get the true pastel look, you need the white, but for brighter colors, I think it is better to stick to the clear. Okay, let's see how this does. All right, working real well. This one might, ooh. Ooh, you can see the glitters in this one. So with the clear, you can actually see the glitter in this one. Actually, you know, when once it's dried, you can actually see the glitter in this one as well. This one, I do think maybe needs a little bit of white because it is doing that sort of weird translucent -y thing where it doesn't look like it's supposed to be translucent, but is. So let's add a little bit of white to that and some glitter. <laughs> So I just think one big scoop of white will suffice. And I'm trying to decide between which one of these to do, but they look literally the exact same to me. <laughs> like, what is the difference? All right, let's use this one. I want it to be sort of like a fiery color. Wow, good job of me. <laughs> All right, retest with the glitter and the bit of white. And now it's, okay, you know what? It's not what I was going for, but I really like it. I was going for like a fireball sort of color, but now it's this like nice, like pinky orange color. I actually don't wanna change that. I really like it, but I do again, want to make an actual red. So once again, I keep thinking in my head, like, okay, I'm just gonna make one more. No, one more, just one more. So like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> This one's just so much prettier. I hope the camera's picking it up because this one's like almost like a dusty rose color now with the glitter and everything. Love it. Let's see how well this shows up on our swatch test. Oh wow, okay, so this one seems like one of the only ones that actually is like showing up well with the glitter on the swatch test, but it still looks better on the back. And on today's segment called, Why Am I Like This? We are going to do every single color. So these ones, 
these ones and these ones because why not? Is it probably going to make a weird color? Yes. Are we going to do it anyway? Yes. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to do literally like one or two seconds of every single one because otherwise we're going to overfill this and I won't have enough acrylic and it's gonna be a thing, all right? So let's go. Okay, believe it or not, we're done. Um, that did not take nearly as long as I thought it was going to. Let's start with clear and if we wanna add white, we can, but I think clear will give us our truest color right now. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that was 34 chalks. All right, that's probably good. Let's give it a nice stir. Wow, my hands are so gross. I almost wonder if it would look good just like this all chunky. Let's try it chunky before we do the whole like mixing thing. Let's just try it like this. I know when I did my poly gel one, a lot of you were disappointed that I didn't try it just swirled. So let me not waste this opportunity and let's do it and see if it looks sort of like confetti. All right, so that did mix to about a gray with some other stuff going on. All right, working well. Let's see. Ooh, she's thick. Well, so not that great. I think, are we just gonna make black? Okay, this didn't turn out like confetti like I was hoping. So let's just mix it all together now. All right, swatch number two. And we created a black <laughs> with some minor, minor sparkles in it because of the sidewalk chalk. So there it is. I actually thought it was gonna turn out like a mucky color, but it's like a straight black. I'm gonna leave it as black because I don't think it needs any glitter. I totally almost forgot to do a swatch test as if you guys don't already know what it looks like. All right, and here's just our black. And I named this one Zoe because I have a black lab and she's staring at me right now. So I just, you know, obliged. So honestly, right now, I just wanna make one that has a lot of glitter. So we're just gonna go straight in with this clear and let's just add some clear acrylic and go in with the glitter. Okay, so we're gonna do some of this glitter. I love this glitter. It's my fave. That much? Yeah, that much. And let's do a chunky version of that hollow glitter like that. I'm just gonna do the hollow right now and then we can see if we wanna add other ones, but I don't know, just like clear and like hollow just sounds kind of good to me. I couldn't get over the way you guys were roasting these little hollow shards. They're not that bad. <laughs> All right, let's just see. All right, just like a hollow one. Okay, let's see. This one should work really well because it's no chalk in there. Ooh. Wow, I don't think I'm gonna have the heart to make this one like any different. I just think it looks so good. Of course it looks good, it's just hollow glitter. But wow. Yeah, we keep this one like this. This is my favorite. Even though we pretty much know what this one looks like, it's still gonna get a swatch stick. Yeah, here is this one. I don't know, something with this acrylic and these swatch sticks is just not vibing like but we can still see the color on this side at least. Okay, I think this is gonna truly be the last one. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go on and I'm going to swatch every single one on the swatch sticks that I have previously done and show you a couple that I did off camera. Well, not off camera, but the last time I tried to film this video. Let's make a pastel pink. And since we want it pastel, we're going to use the white. Okay, 
Okay, time to test. Hmm, I like it, but I don't love it. Or maybe I do. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this one. It almost still looks kind of weird. I don't know. I think it might be this chalk partially. I just think it has a certain look to it and there's a couple little pieces, but I've blended this up as much as I possibly can. But yeah, so there's pink. Should we just leave the pink as is? Do we dare touch the pink? We do. Let's put some of these like iridescent ones in there so it's not too distracting from the color, but it's still really, really pretty. Let's put some of these moons in here. We'll do this like a guy theme almost, but pink, some moons, and then that means we need to get some different stars. There are so many different kinds of stars in this one. So I'm just putting a little scoop of all of them. Okay. Give this a nice little mix and retry. Oof, that picked up a lot, okay. Okay, okay. Did I not put enough glitter in there? Or is it because of the white? I think it's partially because of the white. You just can't really tell that much. That's okay. You can sort of see actually, sort of it coming through. And swatch stick time. It's almost like the white and this chalk like don't want to mix. Ah, oh, you can't see any of the glitter at all. Okay, so now it is actually time for me to go back and swatch all of my previous custom acrylics that I made in my part one video. So I think there's, I don't know how many of these, I think 12 and a couple that I haven't shown you. So let's get started with that. So here's Flamingo. Next, I will do Alien Spit because I know how many of you were disappointed that I did not use it. Okay, so should you do a nail with Alien Spit, it will look like that. Why did I say that? Like you could actually buy this. <laughs> All right, next in the ring, we have Red Chili, probably one of my favorites from last video. I didn't love it as much at the time, but just like how it came out now looking at it, I absolutely love it. It's so red and I think the sparkles go perfectly with it. So this one again, the glitter just not really showing. So I'm gonna show you like through this side because I think this is more of like an accurate representation of how it would look. Can someone explain to me why like the glitters are not showing through this side really? Like I don't get it. Next up is Crybaby. You guys already saw me like actually use this one, but if we're gonna just swatch them all, I'm not gonna do all but like two of them, you know? So here is Crybaby. I think Galaxy was also another favorite of mine from last time just because of the hollow glitters and it really does look like a nice galaxy. It is just a great color. I did not like the design I did with it last time. Last time I just like didn't go in with the plan. Today I'm gonna do it better, I promise. So yeah, this one, it really didn't get the chance it deserved, but we can all see how pretty it is. Here we have tea. I think this is a color I did not show you guys. I made in a previously failed video. So let's see what color this is, because I don't quite remember. It looks like it has some sort of glitter in it. It's got two lavenders now, I guess. Yeah, see this one, you can sort of see why I did not like it. It's like so chunky. I don't know why it wasn't wanting to go. I don't know, this one was just a fail for sure. Next up we have Wavy. I'm not sure if you guys saw this one or not. I do not know. Here is Wavy. Okay, so quick update. I just went ahead and did the last five because this was taking so long. So let's just go through these really quick. So here we have Elowen Forest. And of course, again, looks different on the underside. Right here we have This Too Much. And once again, looks different on the other side. You can sort of see that color shift with the powder that we put in for here. Right here we have Yawn, probably my least favorite and performed the absolute worst. Here's one you guys had not seen. This is Cement. It is a black with a bunch of rainbow star glitters in it. This one's okay. And last but not least, we have Buy Me Flowers. This is the sort of, it was supposed to be a nudish one, but it ended up like this red with the, you can't see them anymore, but these were like rose gold hollow flakies. So here we have that. And behold, here are all of the different shades I've made. If some of them would stop covering each other, you get the idea. So here they are. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go take off this set of nails and then I'm gonna do, I think five different designs with 
five different shades so we can get a good variety. All right, I will see you guys in a second. Okay, all done. So I have my crusty nails here. I'm going to put some dehydrator on and pop on some tips so we can get going. I have a plan today for what I'm gonna do for each nail. So let's get rolling. Just going to use this Nail Nails dehydrator and I'm gonna be using these Russian stiletto tips. I'm gonna be using the McCart glue, my fave. Okay, here are the tips on. So what I'm gonna do now is just put on some primer and then I'm going to put on a really thin coat of clear for my nails because I do not want any of the chalk to stain my natural nails. You know, especially I'm gonna be using like green and blue and stuff like that and I don't need my natural nails to be stained green. That's not cute, okay? Let's not revisit that. So once again, just using the Model Ones Clear and I'll be using their monomer as well, but it's going to be kind of out of sight because my camera doesn't want to focus on my actual nail if there's anything else in the picture. Really just like that much of a base. All right, so clear base coat is on. Now, my idea is I want to do a rainbow, so it's gonna be red, orange, yellow, green, blue. We're gonna have to leave out purple, sorry. So essentially what I'm gonna do is pick a red from my swatch thing here. I think I'm going to pick red chili just because I really loved that shade. So let's do that one. All right, so let's dig into this. We're actually going to start on the pinky. I'll give you guys a little bit of dipping action. Wow. And I'm really gonna try to keep this thin because I always seem to just do it so thick and then it takes forever to file. So I'm going to really just lay down the layer of acrylic and then I might clear cap it just so these glitters and everything like that don't get filed into and we don't use too much of our colored glitters because I did make a limited amount of every single one basically. Obviously I can always remake, but that's not the point. All right, so red is done. Let's move on to orange. I don't think I have many oranges. I think I'm gonna have to stick to this too much. Does that work? Yeah. I just don't want it to be too similar of a color, but I think they're different enough, are they? I don't know. But I think that's the only orange I have besides Yawn right here. How is it that I can remember these shades? Someone tell me. I, I don't, how did I do this? I don't know. Okay, yeah, we're gonna use this too much and I'm gonna do decorate it so that it really shows the orange in it and not the red. Yeah, go plan me. I really love the shift in this shade. It's so unique. I didn't realize like how cool it would look to dump powder in there. Like I wonder what would happen if you dumped like a holographic powder in acrylic. Should we test that? Should we do that as well? Cause I wanna know. Cause this iridescent one is coming through really nice. For the yellow, I think it's super obvious we have to use lemon grab. Pretty sure at this point my entire house is gonna smell like monomer for a week. You guys will have to let me know which shade is your favorite out of all of them. Which one was your favorite one that I made today? Do you think the white base worked better or the clear base worked better? I know that was like a lot of like use a white and stuff like that. So I hope that I was able to take some of your guys' suggestions and do them justice today. All right, then it's time for green. Now, hear me out. I really want to use Ellen Forest, this one right here, but I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna be really mad if I don't use Alien Spit. So I'm gonna use Alien Spit, but just know that I actually want to use this one. Here she is, another bright one. My camera almost can't even handle it. <laughs> So 
Okay, so last but not least, blue. And we actually have quite a few blues to choose from. I think I'm going to choose this one. And that one is, wow, can I not really remember the name? Oh, here it is, Sour Candy. Hopefully the glitters in this will come out a little bit better on my nail instead of how it was in the swatch. It's a little bit better. That definitely looks better than on the swatch stick. So in general, here are the nails. This one looks a lot more orange in real life. So it definitely looks like a red, orange, yellow, green, blue. And so I'm gonna clear cap these and then we will go on to decorating. Okay, actually to add some orange to this one, I'm going to put these orange flowers in right here. And we will do that with the clear, of course. I'm just going to put like the thinnest layer of clear just to help adhere the flowers. Just enough for it to be sticky, honestly. And then as quickly as I possibly can, get a flower to whole flower it is. Pretty. Wow. And hope that it wants to stick in to the acrylic. And it kind of does. Okay, another clear layer. I hope this one doesn't get too thick. So I want each nail to be its own individual design. And then I want also for all the nails to sort of come together. That's my hope for this set anyway. And then just going to clear cap that one. I'm just gonna do this one first because I want these flowers to stick in like so. So here's this one. Hopefully it's not too, too thick. Hopefully I don't file in the flower too much. We'll have to see about that. Then as you guys saw last week, I have these little decals. I'm gonna use these on the blue one cause I think it's like a nice sky theme. Once again, just like a nice, super thin layer of acrylic, just enough to we can stick things on there. Nice little moon here. Cute, 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 cute. I like this little sun, also cute. Just lock these in with some acrylic. Let's see if there's any other good little. There we go. Now time for a clear cap. All right, and then for the green, I got these flames. I know you guys have probably seen these everywhere if you like nails, but I got these and I think I'm gonna try to see if there's a green one for this green or I might put some hollow on it, I don't know. And I know you can use these multiple ways. You can either like put it in with acrylic or you can put it on with, just top it with gel. But let's just see, I might try to do it with the acrylic. If that doesn't work, then I'll do it with the gel. When I ordered these, I did not realize how many there is. Wow, is there not a green? Am I missing something? Ah, uh, there's the green, voila. So let's see if we can get these on the green one. These are a little bit tricky to get off. Okay, let's see about this. When I did this design not too long ago, cause I know a lot of you saw this design, that's why I'm redoing it on this finger cause you guys wanted to see. But when I did it, I just put gel over it. And after, I think I had these nails on for like two weeks at least, some of the edges started to lift up with the gel. So that's why I want to encapsulate it with the acrylic. I hope you guys can see those flames properly, but now time to just encapsulate that. All right, that's done. Now we got just two more to go and I'm trying to figure out what designs I want to do for these. I also got these butterflies. Butterflies are so in right now. And yes, I realize you guys have seen lately, I went crazy on Amazon getting all of this nail art stuff. I just, I don't know, something came over me. Okay, wow, there's so many. Okay, let's go through these so we can sort of see all the different ones. Pretty, there's some red in there for sure. Some more blue pink love these ones some softer smaller pastel ones pretty and lots of blue now question do we do this for the yellow or the red so let's pull out some reds 
All right, and then we just stick it down. I think that looks good. I feel like these stickers and stuff like that have come such a long way. I remember when I was younger and I would get nail stickers, they never actually stuck on your nail. Do you guys remember that? Like I always felt like it was such a struggle to actually get like any of the stickers to stick on your nail. And now look at these just like, bam, and they're on. I think that's impressive. They've come such a long way. Okay, got our butterflies on that one. This nail requires gel for the design. So let's just get on with clear capping these two and we will move on. I hope the design I have in mind for this yellow one goes. It kind of involves some gold, so I hope that I don't mess it up too much, but I think it'll go well. I think it'll be pretty. I hope anyway. One more to go. Yay, and they are all clear capped, so now it's time to file. Hopefully not too, too much work. These aren't too thick. So yeah, let's get on with that. Okay, so here are my nails all filed. So now for this one, let's start here because this one's like the least decorated. I have this gold space kitty gel where you use a magnet and it like all pools. So I wanna try to do that because it's still yellow and it's also like holographic, like look how pretty. Yeah, so let's try to do that. And it's still like kind of translucent. So we might be able to see some of the purple shards underneath. Yeah, you still can like watch, look at, yeah, you can see, totally see some of the purple. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of a thicker layer on, you know, so that way we can really get it moving. And then what you're supposed to do, if you've never used this before, is you get a magnet and then it will move it to where you want. Can you guys sort of see what I'm doing here? I hope so. I hope you guys will be able to see, but I sort of did like these waves you can sort of see on the sides. So now let me cure this. This honestly shows better in the sun, so I'll have to show you guys that way. And then I think I kind of just want to top coat everything else for now. If we want to add anything else after, we can. Wow, I love putting the top coat on. Look, it just like comes right through. Let's really see the flowers come out, wow. I really love those stickers. I'm gonna have to use them more. And finally, this one. All right, now let me cure these really quick. So I just went and put some cuticle oil on, but I did also wanna show you guys something I've been using. This is the Orly Cuticle Therapy Cream. I really love this stuff. I just saw it at Sally's and I don't know, like the consistency is just so nice. I just like, I don't know, like rub it all over my, my cuticles, my fingers sort of. It's just really helped my cuticles a lot. So if you don't really like oil, you know, just some people don't like that texture, try this. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do let me know which nail is your favorite, which design do you like, and which a custom acrylic was your favorite overall. I had so much fun making all these acrylics. You guys know how much I love to do this. So I'm gonna give you some end shots of each nail and some outside as usual, cause you know they really pop in the sunlight. And that's all I have for you guys today. Please make sure to give this a like if you enjoyed it. It really helps me out a lot and I appreciate it. And I will hopefully see you guys next time. Bye.